Hey, look, it's me on stage doing stand-up. Wouldn't that be so fun to go to? Well, you're in luck. I'm going on tour this summer, and tickets are available right now. So click the description, and I'll see you there. Enjoy the video. Folks, I am wearing hat today because I just uh, shampooed my hair for the first time uh, ever, and it's about that big, so I gotta... I gotta keep it in here. Uh, welcome back to another installment of... Geez, Canada's a little different from America, isn't it? <laughs> I've talked about a bunch of weird Canadian TV shows over the years, but... I realized that I've never talked about the things that play in between the TV shows. And I think that's the best part. Personally, I can't watch anything on Netflix these days. There's just no commercials and it's annoying. You expect me to pause Riverdale every 15 minutes and then pull up some newspaper ads just so I can get my fix and then rinse and repeat? That's weird. I don't know how much longer I can do that, Netflix. I can't read. I'm joking, obviously. For the most part, commercials are stupid and bad and annoying, but you know, there's been some good ones. I'll admit it. I remember there was that one little season commercial where it like advertises a new pizza and then it cuts to a shot of an audience going one more time and then they just play the exact same ad over again that's still the funniest commercial i've ever seen that is genius also dude when i was a kid i fell for commercials hook line and sinker straight up if there was just a spiky haired kid advertising a literal hook line and sinker i'd ask my parents for it for christmas you know when you're at the movies and you're watching trailers and there's that little bit of silence in between each trailer and then you turn to your friend like i gotta see that that looks pretty good that was me but with commercials after every like bionicle commercial i'd like turn to my mom and be like hey if you don't buy me that i'm gonna start screaming dude i remember asking my mom for a fushigi you guys remember that shit fushigi ball (laughs) <laughs> that fucking like weird silver ball that sort of like you just moved around with your hands. You remember that shit? No strings, no tricks. Magic, maybe. <laughs> don't say maybe. <laughs> Magic, maybe. We actually don't know what these are and we're fucking scared. Somebody please explain these. Okay, you know what? Leave a comment. Let me know if you want me to make a whole video about the Fushigi ball because I, I really want to. Spoiler alert. I'm gonna make a video about Fushigi ball. I remember wanting one of these so bad, not because it was a good product. It was just good advertising. And believe it or not, that's all you really need to sell a product. And whether you're aware of it or not, commercials really stick with you because that's literally how they're designed. But you know, when I was a kid, I was watching TV, you know, I would get commercials and stuff, but every so often there would be a PSA, a public service announcement. You know, it was just like a message from some media company that was like, hey, uh, please don't do drugs or like uh, drinking and driving is bad. You know, just like indisputable, like good messages about being safe and smart. And there were a bunch that aired in Canada in the early 2000s from this company called CCA, uh, which stood for Concerned Children's Advertisers. And some of these PSAs were good, but some of them were not so good. And no matter how much older I get, no matter how much time passes since I've seen these on television, they are just burned in my brain. So I want to make a video about them. And yeah, Jacob made a video about these last year and a bunch of other people did as well, but no one has the balls to make a video about it this year. Let's start off with one that uh, really hits home for me. So a few things. Number one, I said this one like hits close to home for me, uh, you know, because this reminds me a lot of my uh, my childhood. You know, it was just constantly girls just trying to just kiss me and shit. It was, they were trying to steal a kiss, sort of, you know, Boris Larson style. I just stole a kiss. What are you going to do about it? It was a nightmare. And so was he. Seriously though, this kind of low-key kind of happened. My first kiss was in third grade. One day I was swinging on a swing, obviously. And this one girl, who will remain nameless, she got her friend to run over to me to like ambush me. She like spun me around a bunch of times in the swing. So I was like trapped in like the chains. I couldn't really move. And then the girl who will remain nameless, she fucking ran over to me while I was trapped and she kissed me all over my face and my lips without my consent. I just stole a kiss. What are you going to do about it? And she wasn't even the girl I had a crush on. That's the <laughs> that's the most fucked up part, dude. Felt like I was cheating, you know? <laughs> I have bad news. Rebecca kissed me the other day. Okay, I don't know you. Also, we're 10. 
Why would I care? Yeah, no doubt. So there's a hole in that PSA's logic right there, okay? Stay fit. Doesn't matter how fit you are, okay? Because I was fit as hell, dude. I was, I was jacked. jacked. I was in the best shape of my life in third grade. But when it comes down to it, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, if some girl's asshole friend spins you around a bunch of times in a swing, you're gonna get smooched. What are you gonna do about it? So let's not body shame kids for not being fit enough, okay? Commercial from 20 years ago. Also, like, seeing this PSA as an ugly kid must have sucked, you know? Also, please ignore the fact that I just said, uh, let's not body shame, and then immediately after I said, hey, wouldn't it suck to have an ugly face? You know what I mean, though, right? Like, watching this PSA, like, does that happen to you guys? Oh, yeah, all the time. Girls just, like, chase you and yeah. kiss you? Okay. Yeah, literally, like, every day. And they say how ugly you are. Well, they do. What the fuck? And this is kind of fucked up too because it's like kind of like only geared towards like boys, right? Like young boys. But watching this as a girl must have been wild too, right? Like <laughs> what's the message here? Stay fit so you can have the upper hand on all the boys you want to chase and kiss? That's fucked up. Is that what girls did? I, I, I don't know. You just run around like fucking cod zombies after school just trying to kiss boys. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Again, I don't know what girls did in their spare time, aside from spinning boys around in swings and, and then kissing their helpless little faces. And believe it or not, they uh, they use this premise a few more times. There was one that they did where this kid had a sick Pokemon card, and then the wind blew it away, and then he gets all sad. And watching this, you know, hurts even more now, right? The card wasn't even that expensive when this was filmed. But I mean, if we're being realistic, even if he caught up to the card, and he caught up to it when he was on the ground, and he picked it up, it already lost a lot of its value due to the damage, you know? know what I mean? I wouldn't send that card in the PSA. They'd probably just tell you to stay fit. Get it? Is PSA the card grading company and PSA the, the video we just watched? Yeah, there's a little uh, little message to uh, you aspiring comedians out there. Always explain your jokes. <laughs> And then they use this premise for one more PSA. Uh, there's a group of kids hanging out and then the ice cream truck drives by. They try to catch up to the moving vehicle, but they don't because it's a moving vehicle. And then we get the classic stay fit because you never know. And again, staying fit has nothing to do with that outcome. You're telling me the average fit child is supposed to be able to run as fast or faster than a moving car? That's ridiculous. Did Usain Bolt's parents write this ad? <laughs> Usain Bolt is really fast. Also, maybe the reason you can't catch up to the ice cream truck is because you're eating too much freaking ice cream. Oh my god. Ever think of that? Take a hint, guys. If even the ice cream man won't stop to make a sale, maybe you're the problem. It almost seems like these kids are trying to like chase the ice cream man out of town. Yeah, We're gonna kill you if we ever catch yeah, up to you. I'm literally gonna shoot you with a you gun, you dumb ice cream, ice cream man. You dumb ass. Ass. Fuck you. And also, one more thing that I find interesting. I'm gonna show you one more PSA that, uh, compared to these other ones, is very weird. You don't need a media monkey to make healthy choices. Think for yourself. What do you want then? Because in one PSA, you go, you got to stay fit. This is the type of body you got to have. You got to be fit as fuck. And then the next one, you're like, don't listen to these people telling you to gotta have a fit ass body. Don't matter. But like I said before, the overall message of those stay fit PSAs were good. It'd be weird to dispute that. Exercise and staying fit is good for you. And they told kids that in a way that they would understand, right? Pokemon cards, ice cream, cooties. But there were some other ones where their messaging got a little convoluted, for me anyway, which isn't really saying anything because I, I was a fucking idiot. But let me show you what I mean. It's nighttime in a kitchen just like yours. All is quiet. Or is it? The North American house hippo is found throughout Canada and the Eastern United States. House hippos are very timid creatures and are rarely seen, but they will defend their territory if provoked. The favorite foods of the house hippo are chips, raisins, and the crumbs from peanut butter on toast. House hippos sleep about 16 hours a day. That looked really real, but you knew it couldn't be true, didn't you? That's why it's good to think about what you're watching on TV and ask questions. Okay, so it's about like media literacy and, you know, questioning and thinking critically about the media that you're consuming, which is good, which is very, it's very, very important, especially nowadays. But I gotta say, when I was a kid, the message of this PSA was completely lost on me. Even though the commercial ends with the narrator being like, hey, these aren't real. Dude, straight up, I thought house hippos were real for years. Years, and I just never saw 
sell one and I was pissed off about it. Straight up, even if I were to like ask my parents about house hippos, they'd be like, what? They're not Curtis. They're not fucking real. Deep down, I'd be like, well, what do you know? I fucking saw it on TV. <laughs> you know? How much are they paying you? How much are they paying you to keep quiet about these things, huh? <laughs> I literally had like anti-vaxxer Fox News brain when I was a kid. House hippos aren't real? Explain that commercial I just saw then. Dude, it literally said at the end of the commercial that they're not real. That's fake news. That's fake news and you know that. No, it's not even news. Oh, so you agree. It's not news. It's bullshit. It's, it's blasphemy. Hey, not what I was saying, obviously. It's not news. At all. It's a PSA. Yeah, exactly. And what does PSA stand for? Pretty small animal. Okay, obviously, that's not what it stands for. Have you ever even seen a house hippo in real life? They're not real. Oh, really? They're not real. Then what do you call that? Oh. Holy shit, dude, is that a hippo? Yeah, it's a hippo. In my house. Therefore, a house hippo. Okay, man, I don't know where you got that hippo, but it's running away. What? Oh. No! Yeah, that house hippo ad was like a huge whoosh for me. Don't get me wrong, great idea for a commercial. It's very smart, but like, don't be smart when you're trying to gear a commercial towards children. They're fucking stupid. Kids are so dumb. Or at least I was. I was so dumb. Prime example, I used to watch Free Willy like every day on VHS. And for those of you who've seen Free Willy on VHS, uh, before the movie starts, there's like a, a recording of a live performance of Will You Be There by Michael Jackson. And it's awesome, fucking great song. And I remember one day I was watching it with my sister and the performance started. And I remember I turned to my sister and I asked, hey, do you think Michael Jackson ever gets tired singing that song for us every day? Idiot. Dumb fucking kid. I straight up thought Michael Jackson was a little man in my TV doing like a private show for us every day. Like one day I just put in the VHS tape and then it would go to an empty stage and some guy would be like, yeah, band didn't show up today. <laughs> I think we're just gonna play the movie, Curtis. Fucking dumbass, dude. You think that, you think I would understand like irony and nuance in a PSA? No chance. So now that we've covered the ones that didn't work well because I'm not staying fit. And also deep down, I think I do still believe in house hippos. You know, maybe the real house hippos were the friends we made along the way. I think now it's time we talk about some PSAs that did work really well. I am Ashtar, a robot from Planet Danger. I can put my arm back on. You can't. So play safe. First off, it's like, it's weird watching this now because like, I remember when I first saw it, I was like, well, this is real life. This, these graphics are incredible. <laughs> they brought a film crew to Planet Danger. That's what's up. This grabbed my attention real quick when I was a kid, you know, cause it's like scary and it's like weird alien planet and the music and all the saws and shit. And it's like stern robot woman telling me how it is. Okay, yes, ma'am, I, I will play safe. I don't know what that means, but I will dedicate the rest of my life to figuring that out. Yeah, like I said, this one stuck with me like more than any of them because it was like, it was scary. You know, the, the creepy, scary stuff, it sticks with you way more than all the other shit. I watched 13 Ghosts when I was like seven years old. I was a changed boy after that movie. That bloody naked lady is in my head whenever I turn the lights off. What do you mean by that? Sounds... Okay. You know what I'm trying to say. I also wasn't like cosplaying a British person when I said that by calling her like a, a bloody naked lady. She was literally covered in blood. And it's the same as like Goosebumps movies and episodes of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Like those are fucking in there. They're not going anywhere. You know, I, dude, I feel like there just aren't any like horror movies or shows like geared towards children anymore. Dude, that's what's messed up about today's society. We gotta scare kids more, you know? In like a in like a chill way. Because at the end of every Goosebumps movie, there was like a lesson, right? It's like, no matter how scary things can get, if you have your friends and anything is, every, is then it's all good. <laughs> so, you know, next time you're walking down the street, you know, you see a kid, you know, just hit, you're about to walk past a kid, hit him with a quick, uh, or maybe not. That won't really like teach them anything. That'll just like ruin their lives. But maybe you could be like, illiteracy. or maybe you could be like, play, play safe from and rip your arm off. And yeah, their parents might yell at you, but in the grand scheme of things, that's not my problem. How about we watch another scary one? Ever wonder what a bag of crack looks like? In the last two years, over 5,000 people in Canada and the U.S. have died from using crack or cocaine. 
Do yourself a favor. Think about it. Damn. Right to the point, dude. I mean, when you're a kid and you see that, you don't even know what crack is at that point. But you're like, hey, yeah, for sure. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Hey. I put that as a placeholder in my editing software so I could make a green screen sketch about it later. But you know what? I think we're good. I think we can go our whole lives without seeing a guy's butt uh, that doesn't have a crack. Like, that'd be weird. Why would I ever show you that? No one needs to see that. It's weird. I would never show you that. And I think this is a big moment for me. I, I think... You know, I finally realized that not every joke and premise needs a green screen sketch to go along with it, even though I'm, this is technically a green screen sketch because I'm, I mean, I'm using my green screen. So don't worry, for the rest of the video, there aren't going to be any green screen sketches. <laughs> this works, okay? This is what we got to do. I also think like the tonal shift from like watching a fun, happy cartoon to this is very effective. gonna die tomorrow yeah you might even die tonight if alan takes my shift and there isn't any traffic <laughs> alan did say he wasn't feeling well and you know it is the friday before a long weekend so things aren't looking too good <laughs> for tonight but alan does owe me a favor i took his shift a few weeks ago so he owes me one and i could always take the side street so we'll see what happens are you ready kids Okay, let's watch one more, and uh, I think I've saved the best one for last. Hey, you ever thought about taking drugs? I don't know. Well, I never really thought about it. Think hard. The first hit's free, but you find me when you need more. The choice is yours. What do you think? Nah, this drug's not worth the time. message from concerned children's advertisers holy shit dude okay point proven got it always ask to see a, a guy's eyeballs before you buy drugs off them that was the message if they got normal eyes they're a normal guy oh, also yeah. i would never buy drugs but i would especially never buy drugs from a guy with such terrible organization and inventory management skills you know like take a little bit of pride in what you do just a handful of like loose drugs and needles <laughs> like come on man could you imagine if like that's how pharmacists did it too <laughs> hey i have like a really bad headache what do you what do you suggest for that sorry to hear that buddy uh for headaches i got the perfect remedy yeah. first what you want to which you want to take is uh, I have it here somewhere. Oh, oh sorry, I just can't find it. Oh. Uh, oh, here it is. You're gonna take one of these, okay? Okay. And hold on, I'm not done yet. Hold on, I got the other thing here somewhere. <laughs> sorry, organization is uh, not my <laughs> uh, Ah, here it is. You're gonna want to inject one of these into your arm, right? Wait, hold on. You allergic to peanuts? Yeah, actually, I, I, I am. Okay, in that case, don't use this needle. There's, it's just peanut butter in here. Okay, why do you even have that? It's my lunch, dude, relax. I ran out of Tupperware and the only thing I had laying around was this old syringe. Forget it. Just take nine of these pills, like I said before, and you're- Nine pi- You said I only had to take one. But yeah, that's before I knew you hated the taste of peanut butter. That's not what allergies are. I, 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 I like the taste of peanut butter. I'm just allergic to it. Yeah, whatever, man. You know who does like peanut butter? Who? House hippos. <laughs> Don't know what those are. Down the hatch. <laughs> what, what the? What's going on? Choking? Say something, you okay? No, I'm not okay, I'm allergic to peanut! Okay, all in all, I think these PSAs worked well for the time. You know, these aired before YouTube and TikTok existed, so like, the only content you really had to be mindful of was like, television. And as time went on, I think the need for these types of PSAs increased, but what also increased was the amount of content that young people are consuming. So it's sort of a losing battle for these concerned children's advertisers. Every time I say that, I think of like little kids in suits and like an ad agency just fucking stressed. <laughs> So concerned. But seriously, there's no way you can make a PSA for every single issue a child is going to face nowadays, and especially get them to see it. So I think the responsibility lies on all of us. We have to be better role models for young people. So if you have a, a kid in your life that looks up to you and trusts you, you scare the shit out of them. Instill terror into their 
dumb little heads because that's the only way it's going to get in there. Put your baby in front of the screen. Do it. Yeah, play safe, play safe. Okay, you're welcome. Now let's hear a word from today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Current. Folks, as technology advances, industries usually evolve and adapt over time. Except banking. They refuse to change, and banking as a whole is dominated by a bunch of old companies who don't care about their customers. But Current was built to change that. They've built everything from the ground up with you in mind and with the most modern technology and security. I've always been frustrated with how difficult and how long it takes for me to get my own money from my own bank but current wants to get you your money faster and they also want to give you the tools to spend and save your money better than ever what are those tools you ask good question well with current you can get your paycheck up to two days faster there's no overdraft fees up to two hundred dollars no minimum balance fees and their new interest feature where you get four percent apy on savings and they're not done they've got a bunch of exciting things coming up this year so you're definitely going to want to sign up for current right now and as usual current wants to help me give back to you you guys today. Current and I have given away thousands of dollars to my audience and we're about to do it again, okay? Five lucky people who sign up for Current using my code courtesy are going to get $500 each. So go download Current right now by clicking the link in the description and use my code courtesy for your chance to win. Hey, it's just common courtesy. Okay. Uh, thank you so much Current for sponsoring this video and so many others in the past. Hope you check them out because it helps me out a bunch when you guys check out the sponsors. So everybody wins, man. All right, back to me. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please press that like button because believe it or not, one like equals one helpless child that I will rescue from the swing set. You better press the fucking button. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know if you're Canadian, if you remember these or any other ones. And also let me know if you want a video about the Fushigi ball, even though I'm going to make a video about the Fushigi ball. You can press the subscribe button because as soon as you do, you become a valued citizen of Curtistown. And if you didn't know, uh, Curtistown is the best place to live in the world. And I'm the mayor, so you have to be nice to me. It's the law. Also, check the description for the other shit I do. My Twitter, Instagram, podcast. And come see me on tour, man. I'm doing a big tour this summer, and I want people to see it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. I would stick around, but I have to go. I think I heard a little house hippo. Goodbye. Goodbye.